Hello everyone and very welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica. Today I am very excited because I am going to do two looks and give you my thoughts on this palette. This is from Nomad Cosmetics. It's their Paradise Islands palette and it looks like this and inside it looks like this. So it's very colorful, it's very beautiful and I'm so excited. If this is the first time here, very welcome. I'm so happy you found me. And this channel is almost all about makeup. I do some vlogs from time to time, but I do love makeup. I love neutral makeup, I love colorful makeup. We're gonna do some color today. And yeah, if <laughs> this is a place to be if you wanna relax and have a good time. So don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you here. And yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So as I said, the Noma Cosmetics Paradise Islands palette. This is inspired by the Pacific, uh, Pacific Paradise Islands. And you know, the tropical like Tahiti, and Bora Bora, and I, I i mean, look at this front, it's so stunning. This is 44 US dollars, you can buy it at Noma Cosmetics website. It's an indie brand, by the way. And they have travel themed palettes, which I love. I have a lot of palettes from them. So they have destinations or cities or countries, yeah. Uh, I love that theme and this is the beautiful palette guys. I mean look it's so so beautiful So as I said, I'm gonna do two looks and I already have a first impression up on my channel So I will try to <laughs> leave it up in the card and down below, but let's start with the first look I have used this palette now when I go to work and I actually filmed the first look uh, I'm gonna do it uh, another way this time, but I filmed it, but in my new beauty room, this is my new beauty room by the way, the lighting from the window, I didn't have curtains, was too strong, so it didn't look good, so I had to <laughs> erase that footage, so yeah, <laughs> here we are, <laughs> but I'm gonna start with seashell, and it's this matte purple here, so I think I'm gonna, the thing is, I want to do something with this beautiful blue. It feels like it's a blue kind of turquoise shade and I do love that. <laughs> I do love uh, turquoise. So I'm gonna start with this purple and this is like a very pastel-y leaning. This palette, I feel like you have, what do you have? You have two deeper shades, one like a mid, mid-tone matte, mattes I mean, and a lot of light shades. So it is a very light palette, but I really think this is a stunning palette. I do love these colors. I mean, I have been into a little more pastel, lighter shades, so I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I do love that. So I'm just blending this into the crease and maybe, are we going to do the lower as well? Well, I'm gonna do that as well. Just take this purple here. Okay, I am going to take this really deep, or maybe I'm gonna start with this one actually. This, I'm not gonna pronounce it, but <laughs> this shade. Maybe we're gonna start with that and then we can actually deepen up even more. This is a beautiful shade, by the way. So I think we can make this work. I'm not sure. <laughs> a little purple and then blue. I hope this won't look like a bruise or something. <laughs> and now I'm gonna take this deep dark blue and we're gonna deepen this up a little bit here. Maybe I do want it would have been cool to do like a more winged, winged outlook. I will see if I can... It would be better if I had like tape from the beginning. <laughs> but I'm gonna see if I can manage to do something here. As I said, I have used these... Uh, this palette, I mean, <laughs> in my day-to-day -day life. I don't know if I've used every shade though. Maybe not. I think I need to have some shimmer now because I really need to see what to do because we can blend this out with the light blue as well, but I do want 
this beautiful blue and this one I have used in, in the look I erased <laughs> and I'm spraying it so it gets really really foiled and then we're gonna put it here all over the lid I think well now I'm doing that <laughs> but this is so beautiful it's so sparkly they have different formulas in this palette and this is a, one of the most sparkly ones, this blue, and I really, really like it. It feels like it represents like the ocean. They did a great job with this color story. I really like it. I mean, blue is not my like color I go for usually, but I really can't resist this blue. Really not. <laughs> It's so beautiful. I need to take a very fluffy brush here, I feel like, because I think I want to take this. Maybe this is the shade, this dolphin, I should have used first, like, and not, not that purple. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I can do it like this, like wing it out a little bit, and then I'm going to... I'm gonna do a sharp line here. Maybe this could be cool actually. So I need to have a little more purple. Maybe here. Okay, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think it will look good with a liner. Uh, of course, be b b b because uh, it will define this line. And now it just looks messy. But I need to figure out where I have stuff here because. I feel like I can't find anything. Here you have the brush. I'm gonna take that dark blue again, the deepest dark, and I'm gonna put a little bit here under my eyes so we can connect a little bit with this here. And maybe I actually should have like a blue liner. Maybe that will look good. <laughs> I'm gonna take this dolphin again. I really like this shade. I don't know why I started with the purple, but I think. I think I do want this dolphin here. Maybe we can just have this one, this whale in the inner corner. I'm gonna spray it because this is kind of a shimmer. I feel like it's like, um, yeah, it is a shimmer, but it is one of these shifty shimmers, like almost duochromes. I think I'm gonna take blue, like this one blue in my waterline. This is from ColourPop DTLA. This blue and also like a liquid liner, a blue. And this is from She Glam. And this is the Rich Romance. And it wasn't a kit, it's like <laughs> a mini liner. I don't know where you can see it here. It's a blue one. So I'm gonna do that off camera. Uh, and then put some mascara and lashes on, and then we're gonna see how it looks. Okay, the lashes are on, the liner is on, the lips are done as well. Uh, and now I really, really love this look. I love that I winged it out a little bit, and I actually like the purple in here, and then it goes towards this blue. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what I have on my lips. I line my lips with this NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Sweet Shoes. And this is a creamy lipstick from H&M and this is in Willis and Tweed. It's one of my favorites. As you can see, this is how much I have left of this beautiful nude brownish uh, lipstick. Uh, I don't know if they have these anymore. Such a long time ago, I was at H&M Beauty section, but these lipsticks are one of my favorite formulas, and I have a lot of them. So, maybe I can do a little close-up for you guys. So, this was the first look, guys. What do you think? What do you do? You like this look? Do you like blue? I mean, as I said, as I said before, uh, blue is not the color I usually have on my eyes, but I I do love this shimmer so much. I think the um, <laughs> the.
the mattes performed good as well. I do love this shade so much. I don't know why I didn't start with this one, but I think the purple looks good in the inner part. But with the first look I had to erase, I used this one. And I do remember I love this so much. Anyways, this one it works really nice. I mean, it's pigmented, but I don't know if it's if you can get it this deep. Maybe if you're not ha having like shadows underneath, maybe you're gonna start with this one. And this one, as you can see, is the most spectacular shade in this palette, <laughs> in my opinion. It has more like glitter to it or like particles that is just like very sparkly and have a lot of dimension in it. I haven't used this one yet, but I feel like this one may be a different formula from the other shades here. Uh, not sure though. This one is really hard pressed and very dry, but it actually works. I mean, I took uh, like a small pencil brush and I sprayed it and just in my inner corner that worked, but I don't know how it will work if you have like, if you want to put it all over your lid because it's a little more stiffer, but it has a lot of pigment to it. So actually it could work good. It is like a topper or duochrome kind of shade and it is a little more cool tone, but it is very, very pretty as well. And yeah, the purple performed good as well. I am excited. I am going to do look number two and you're gonna see it right now. Okay guys, it's time for the second look. I'm gonna tell you what I have on my lips. I lined my lips with this lip pencil from H&M uh, and this is in the shade Cayenne. And I also took this liquid lip stain. This is the Elva Cream Lip Stain from Uden's Eye. And this is in the shade Sweet Tulip. And it's a beautiful orange, like, it's almost like a hybrid between a very colorful, like, lip gloss and a liquid lipstick. Uh, I really like it, so... Let's start with this look. I think I'm gonna do a halo eye and I think I want to use the greens. So I think I'm gonna use these two greens here and then put purple on the lid. That is my plan anyway. So I'm gonna start with this beautiful citrus shade. <laughs> it's very, very stunning. Well, let's take that one. It's very pigmented. And we're gonna put it in the crease. I really love shades like this. These like yellowy greens. So, and now we're gonna do the halo eyes. So, I'm gonna take this green here, this darker green with a pencil brush and we're gonna focus this in the inner and the outer part of the lid and we're gonna leave the middle and I think, as I said, I do want like purple there. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe I want purple in the middle. I, I'm not sure, guys. But we're gonna see. So now I'm gonna take the shimmer and I'm gonna take this Tahiti color. This is a beautiful purple shimmer. And I'm gonna take it on a small brush and I'm also gonna spray it. And my plan is to put it here, so hopefully it will look good. I'm gonna place it next to that green and also on the other side. And then, okay, and then we're gonna put something in the middle. And I'm just tapping it a little bit over that green so it blends kind of <laughs> a little bit because it is a shimmer so and we mixed it a little bit with a green that is not I mean purple and green <laughs> but yeah this is how it looks and now in the middle I think <laughs> our two options are this one or this one so let's swatch these so we can see which one will look best. These are very similar. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is more like purpley and this is more pinky leaning. So yeah, I'm gonna take the purpley 
toned one and it's this this one here <laughs> don't mind my nails <laughs> whale so let's take that one and we're gonna put it in the middle also gonna spray it a little bit here and we're just gonna put it in the center here so just to have a little highlight and this is very a very stunning shade as I said before it is like the formula is a little bit like dry, but it works really nice actually. And now we're going to do under the eyes. I'm going to take a small brush. I'm going to take that dark green we had and I'm going to start in the outer part and maybe in the inner part with this. So I'm going to leave the center of like the center here. I think we're gonna put some purple there, so I'm gonna just take this green. And on the same brush, I'm gonna take that tiki that was that light lime green, and we're just gonna like blend it out a little bit here. And then in the middle, I'm just gonna clean, clean it like this. <laughs> and then we're gonna take that Tahiti color, it was this purple again, and I'm just gonna put it in the middle, so like in the center and I'm also going to spray it as I said. <laughs> I'm just going to put it here. I think this is the finished look guys. I'm going to put on some liner mascara lashes <laughs> and then I come back to you and show you the finished look up close. Okay guys, there you had a finished look. What do you think? I really love this look. It was such a long time ago. I did a halo eye and purple and greens. They look stunning together. Uh, I put this one in my waterline. It's a green liner from Kiko Milano and it's their intense color long lasting eye pencil or eyeliner in number seven. So let's talk about this palette because now I've used it not just in these two videos and the video I deleted, I've used it in my day-to-day -day life as well, but there is some shades or let me see here to be totally honest. To be totally honest, it's just one shade I haven't used. <laughs> Actually the shade I am very excited to use, this pink. So I haven't used this one, so I can tell you about that. Uh, but overall, I really like this palette. Uh, with Nomad, I feel like they have different formulas in their palettes. And I definitely can recognize a lot of the, the formulas they have from before. The only formula I don't like in this palette is this one, this fish. And this is a stunning, stunning shade, guys. I'm going to show you. It is like a citrus uh, light, like lime green color. It's something about this, it feels, I want it to be more pigmented and foiled. It is a little powdery and it is a little bit sheer. So I have a really hard time to work with this, uh, with a brush, with the fingers. It is li a little bit like a topper shade, but I would love if this would be like a full pigment metallic, like for instance this one or this one, but this one is a little bit harder. But overall, the shimmers I really like. I mean, there are different formulas here. This is stunning, by the way, and I love this purple. But this one is the star of the show, I feel like, because this is so foiled and it has a lot of dimension in it, like shifting colors, I feel like, but it is a beautiful turquoise blue uh, with a lot of like is it like glitter specks in it? I feel like it is because it's so metallic. This one also has a lot of like glitter specks in it, but it doesn't have the same formula, but they are stunning anyway. And the mask performed really good as well. I mean, it is, they're very soft and yeah, very soft and beautiful matte formula that I really, really love. So yeah, it's a really fun palette and I think I will use it a lot in the summertime now when <laughs> spring and summer is coming because this color store is so, so beautiful. They did a great job with this. So thank you for being here, guys. Thank you for being here and maybe I gave you some inspirational looks. I mean, if you have this palette, 
If you don't have this palette, it's okay. You have probably something similar in your collection you can do these looks with. But yeah, thank you again, and I see you in my next video. Take care, guys. Bye.